Okay, so we have a tiny little baby part three because I really do want you to see this last um, example. So kind of starting back over, we're going to do the limit from the left as x approaches zero from the left of f of x. And we're going to do the limit as x approaches zero from the right of f of x. Okay, from the left, that's this one right here. So that becomes one minus two sine of zero. And from the right, that's this one right here. So that becomes e to the negative four times zero. Well, let's start with this one. Sine of zero is just zero. And like I said, parent functions come back. Guess what? Trig is going to be here all year long. You have to know your trig. So recall, review, come see me, whatever you have to do, know your trig. Two times zero is going to be zero. So one minus zero is simply one. What about what's happening over here? That's negative four times zero. That's zero, e to the zero. Anything to the zeroth power is simply one. So now I know that my limit from the left and my limit from the right equal each other. So I know that the limit as x approaches zero of f of x equals one. What about my function value at zero? Well, that means I'm just evaluating my piecewise function. Which one includes zero? Does this one? Eh. Does this one? Yes. And I've already solved this. One minus two sine of zero, we know that that equals one. So to show that they're continuous, I say that the limit as x approaches zero of f of x is equal to f of zero. And that's my answer. Okay, thank you guys so much. Sorry, it was a three-part video. See you guys next time. Oh, don't see me next time. Don't, don't leave the video. Remember, this is the end of unit. Review, 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 because we will have an exam. Here are the major concepts we discussed, and this is what you need to be able to do for to succeed at the exam. Now I'll see you next time.